play around. Yo, everybody, it's Bill F. from the band Him from Helsinki, Finland. You know, it's more. I wouldn't say it's more lighthearted, but let's say that it's a, um, it's a lighter shade of black on this one. It's a bit more uh, kick in the butt, you know, punch in your face, direct, straightforward, straight to the point, uh, and really melodic. It's a bit more 80s than at least than the previous album is. There's a bit more aha in there. Well, um. I think the basic reason is that um, you know we have a keyboard player in the band, um, so why not utilize his talents? And then since the songs turned out that way, that uh, it just felt natural for them to have a lot of keyboards because we had a lot of guitars on the previous one. So I think that this is more Birdson's album, and the previous one was uh, more Linde's album. It's just we're trying to find out and figure out a good balance between both of those things because we're still a we're still a rock band and, and love our Led Zeppelins, our Black Sabbaths, but then again, we lo do love the 80s pop, so it's, it's hard to get the right, you know, kind of like dance on razor's edge type of vibe. But um, get it there bit by bit. Oh, well, this, back in Finland, we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day that much, but what is special to me about Valentine's and Halloween is the fact that they're internationally well-known dates and everybody remembers when they are. So um, I'm bad with dates. So um, we ended up getting the, uh, the, the album finished by Halloween. I actually got the first master of the album on Halloween. So I thought they'd be perfect to get it out on the Valentine's week because, you know, it's just good for my memory as opposed to like the 4th of March or whatever. You know, it doesn't sound as special. And then the funny thing was that um, we also have a song called uh, Like Saint Valentine on, on the album. And uh, I wrote that exactly a year ago. So because I was, you know, I don't know why, but I wanted to have a Valentine's Day themed song. So it was funny, a lot of, you know, the stars are aligned in that sense. That it's good timing. But th that's the reason, you know, everybody remembers Christmas and Valentine and, and, uh, and Halloween. And you can't really release albums on Christmas. All the shops are closed. I love is magic. It's um, one of the few things. Music is magic too. For me, arts are magic. Love is magic. You know, the matters of the heart, they're very magical. I don't want to be able to, to have a scientific way of explaining them. It's nice to have some mag magic left in the world. And I think that relationships are like that. You know, you never know what's around the corner and you never know when you meet somebody who you fall for how it changes your life. It's, it's miraculous and magical when it happens. So, um, it's, you know, theoretically, love would be something life-changing. Practically, I don't know. Um, yeah, the album is heavily influenced by one, one particular dame. And, um, and since I've been working for the past year on the album, I, have, I haven't really s been able to check out whether the practical aspect of that possible relationship might work. So um, it's still up, up in the air. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. But, you know, she's heard the album and she seems to like it, so that's a bonus. But, um, no, I don't know. You know, she was my muse for the album I, and highly influential for me in writing the song, so I'm ever grateful for that. But... Um, and in that sense, it doesn't really matter whether we're going to be living happily, you know, together ever after. It's, that's not necessarily the point. I'm just very glad that uh, she gave me a bit of light at the end of the tunnel, a bit of hope in amongst all the darkness. I think it can be both. I think that you can be so passionately in love with somebody that hurts. And I think that that's the best best situation where it's overwhelming and indeed magical because you don't kind of you don't know why it is happening you know you're like I don't want this to happen you know why now but it just happens it's just you know 
you know, love moves in mysterious ways. And um, I, I think that they're, they're kind of equal, you know, to, to really care for somebody so much that it, it does physically hurt. I find it, you know, I'm not into S and M, but uh, I find it still, that particular situation, very, uh, you know, enchanting. Oh, yeah, I did, back in the day. My dad owns a sex shop in Helsinki. So um, when I was about 17, I had to uh, pay my rent somehow, so I ended up working there part-time. Well, let's say it makes life cheaper. But um, no, it, it was just a job, and then at the end of the day, you've got to remember that it was my dad's shop. So I was there with my father selling those things. So it, it's kind of kooky, very David Lynch. You know, very weird, but uh, in, in a kind of cool way. And uh, let's say um, the fact that I've been selling dildos, it doesn't really affect the way I would behave or my heart would behave. I think that those things are quite separate, you know. Hey,